This is MC Granny Squirt on the mic. I am backed up by DJ BJ in a three-way. Garbage Day 2019, Hour 3, The Funny Music Project. And we're going to start things off right with our first song. This one's called, I'm saying a bunch of sexist things, but an ironic way, which makes it really funny. One, two, three, four, Boots. Boots, come on, Boots. Boots, this will be funny. Boots, please come back. Come on, I swear to God, this will be fun. Come on, please. <laughs> come plots off, just introduce whoever is going to talk this hour. There are three hours of Garbage Day. In the room for this hour, Jimmy Franks, <laughs> Lemon, Adam Bozarth, Jack yes. Chick, Nacho Gulag, Ironicus, Ironicus, <laughs> our artist is... Ortax. Okay. Hello, everybody. Welcome to hour three of uh, Garbage Day. Uh, we have uh, we're doing a fantastic. Uh, we're 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 burning barns. We got a, about fifteen hundred dollars, almost sixteen hundred dollars in donations so far. Uh, so thank you to everybody that's donated to to up to now. Uh, looking for hopefully many more. Lemon, is there any like housekeeping stuff that we need to talk about before we get into it? Uh, yeah, uh, just uh, in case you're joining us late, uh, we are we are benefiting this year the National Network of Abortion Funds. Uh, they are an organization uh, that distributes uh, abortion funds uh, to anyone in the country or people that are most need in the country, uh, which is in specific regions at this point. Um, every uh, hundred dollars, uh, you will be uh, hearing Mbop, as well as uh, a progressively stupid uh, video of uh, the youngest Hanson. Um, in the trash can. <laughs> trash. Uh, and also, I just wanted to uh, give a shout out to some of our uh, donors, such as the Crazy Shouters, <laughs> who says, <laughs> I am loving it. Thank you for sharing quick donation link. Now I can't control to donate. I will sell the stream URL to my wife. <laughs> Good. It's my favorite. Thank favorite you, day Samurai of the year. Hitman, for Bort Bort Bort. <laughs> So, uh, so this is hour three, and uh, our document for this hour is the Funny Music Project. Um, and, uh, you know, it's like when you say something is funny, it rarely is just like that, only with music. <laughs> like this podcast. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, like of a course, comedy we, we... club. <laughs> we've assembled, we've assembled a, uh, a, a real, a real, uh, uh, a, a wrecking crew of of uh, seasoned musical professionals here, oh! <laughs> and us, me, <laughs> <laughs> to get us through uh, the next uh, forty five minutes or so. Um, and it looks like I just glance at the doc. There's a, there's a mix of like full on weird owls, some weird owl parody type uh, songs, and some original works as well. Uh, we'll see how those translate uh, through the uh, through the lens of time. Because I have no idea how old these things actually are. Uh, a lot of these, a lot of these links just uh, four or four out. So um, these could be uh, these could be classic internet stuff. But uh, to get us into it, uh, Lemon, are you have you looked at any of these? God no. Oh, Wait, good, are we supposed, to, we supposed to prep the shit? No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, because a lot of them, that I don't think there's any there's any melody to go off of. So you're just gonna have to freestyle. Melody. But I, I think let's jump into uh, something that we can all relate to. Um, let's go down to Colby Lacroix's. Uh, classic, hilarious uh, make em up a uh, song called I Have a Tuba. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Is that, is that mine? I, I like to see yeah. that, that, that that one I already have a, t a tune in my head for. I know. Oh, you do? I know it. Okay. Well, no, uh, I, don't, I don't want to sing it. I don't want to sing it. I don't want to sing it. <laughs> it sounds like a volunteer to me. <laughs> oh, God. I don't remember no... the whole tune for the song, though. But... Uh, is but it? Is fine. there a. Yeah, well, it doesn't really have Sorry. a preamble. It, there's, there's no, there's no backstory <laughs> behind the song. We just got to jump right into it. So, uh, all right, I got it. Somebody needs to do it. <laughs> I got it. I got it. Uh, so yeah, my name is Kobe Lacroix, and uh, I have a tuba. When the buttermilk Tuesday beards in your pancakes, pistol whips your inner child and calls you a yam. It's a Boston Cream Terrier Pine Cone Dilemma by Beelzebub's Toenails. I don't like spam. Oh, I fucking hate Everclear. Oh, oh thanks. 
Thank you. I'm so glad that I got to jump in front of that bullet, Nutshell. <laughs> <laughs> nasal Gnomes vo- oh, fuck. Nasal <laughs> Gnomes venture through the tungsten's pajamas, distributing herma hermaphroadic ravioli ravioli faucets and salad brochures of the Cathedral of Stupid. How pituitary <laughs> Floridas infuriate the closet and me. Uh -huh. Cherokee. Uh, petition to rename the co uh, podcast The Cathedral of Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> we, do we get tax exempt status in that case? Yeah. Awesome. Cherokee bananas staple cats to a Hyundai, a surgical procedure to become a fudge Sunday. I. <laughs> Sunday. <laughs> Sunday. <laughs> Saucy Brits are eating bacon bits with. Wait, that makes sense. <laughs> Car How dare you? With caramelized oh, wow. linoleum Such pickle tits. <laughs> I have a tuba. It's made of wood. It's useless. Finally, <laughs> <laughs> time to see some death metal in this podcast. I'm glad that we're getting the lyrical quality. Oh my god, this song is so long. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's about it's three. It's very long. long. So, do you want to do you want to skip ahead a little bit there, Lemon? Boy, I do. <laughs> I'm go down to the the spoken word portion at the end of this. Uh, skip this ahead to the Arthur third. Park. Which is the third? Is that <laughs> sorry. The arrogant it's peanuts? Uh, let's let's uh, start yeah, it. Uh, Look, just get your tuchus off the universe and go ballistic. Come on, uh, it's very clear. Is it waiter? There's a fly in my catastrophe. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's just go to that. Waiter, there's a fly in my catastrophe. Help, I've been bitten by a rabid church. You may be a Gucci tarantula, but I've got Elvis for arms. Can't you go five minutes without being Luxembourg? Is this a piano fudge or ambulatory? I've invented a flashlight that emits Tony Slattery. The all-seeing, fluoridated aphid of eternal self and packaging doesn't want any of your goddamn cookies. Mom, the lesbian chairs are scissoring again. You bitch, you stole all my skateboard. Woo! Uh, bunt cake. I'm quitting the podcast. Goodbye. Yeah, I was gonna say, you know, thanks <laughs> to everybody. It's been a good run. I thanks for run. everybody that's been with be... us for the last uh, two hours. Uh, sorry that we just shit the bed. And uh, somebody finally <laughs> took <laughs> down Will Tony's Slattery, <laughs> and I'm so here for that. Man. I used to be a big fan of Eddie Azard's work, but <laughs> <laughs> uh, real quick, this this uh, this document was submitted by Cheapskate. Uh, he described it as uh, at the. Uh, the Funny Music Project, otherwise known as the FUMP, and we'll see that a lot uh, in this document. Uh, Dr. Domeno commits malpractice. Some of these people have been writing god awful song parodies since the Bush administration, so that's why some of this stuff is dated. Um, Adam, yeah, I, uh, <laughs> I would like you to uh, tell us a little bit about your your comp your composition called "Everybody Wants to Be a Girl." Oh, um, <laughs> oh, yeah. And uh, uh, this is uh, to the uh, to the tune of the Tears for Fears song. Um, it's a it's an experiment <laughs> in endurance. Oh, oh. OK, OK, OK. Do, do we want it? Do we want to do this? This is better than the first thing. <laughs> it okay. has a tune. It has a tune, uh, but it's, uh, it's, it's not great. No. <laughs> No, this is not great. No. I think the word you're looking for is problematic. Very problematic. <laughs> Thank you. Somebody donated money. Woo! <laughs> I'll give you a choice. How's that? I'll give you a choice. Yeah. <laughs> I'll give you a choice of that or anything else. The other one. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, we are going to tell us about your new music project, The Boobles. <laughs> That sounds better. I know you're really excited about this band. Way that you, uh, more excited about the just boobles. launched a MySpace page for. Well, well the Boobles are have four members. Yeah, oh my God. Juan Melon, Raul McHart Teats, yeah, good one, Jorge yeah. Chesterson, and Gringo Tart. Yep, this is this is the source material for the Ruddles movie. Mm. <laughs> Great. Uh, let's see. Should I? Uh, I'd like to hear I'm a little bit about the background. The oh, you want to hear about the background? <laughs> a little of the band. bit, okay. you know. I mean, like, I'm curious, kind of a behind the music kind you know, of thing. But, you know? Like, yeah, the Boobles 
What's the backstory for the Boobles? Okay, well, the Boobles is a comedy music project that created solely to raise money for breast cancer research <laughs> for treatment and a cure through the ultimate trifecta of the timeless music of the Beatles, the power of comedy, uh-huh. and that which has captivated man for centuries, the uh, boobs. The, boobie, <laughs> the Boobles began developing in 2007 uh-huh. as the brainchild of Juan Mellon, who yeah, wrong discovered... Organ. <laughs> who discovered while listening to his Beatles collection that there were many parody ideas presenting themselves, much to his delight. <laughs> they were just centering. hanging out there. Yeah. And there no, this is very things. funny. <laughs> uh, well, I think we are already, I think we are already to uh, give teats a chance uh, to quote you, Juan. And, uh, yeah. oh my God. and hear your song. You want to hear I, only, but... I only know the chorus of a <laughs> piece of change. Yeah, I. That's the same. Same for me here too. So, uh, uh, but we're not. We're not singing that song today. We're singing a song called "I Want to See Your Cans." Oh yes. Oh, okay. I want to hold your hand. I I actually yes, so, know. So the, I know that whole, whole song. All right, so take this, it, Adam. Is, this is from I think the Pink album. Uh, <laughs> oh, I want to see your juggies, baby. Do, 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 do. I want to spy your mams. Oh, I want to peep your hooters, mama. Do, do, do. I want to see, see your cans. I want to peek at the puppies, babies. Spot the sweater. Ha- what? Spot your sweater. <laughs> Whatever. Yes. Whatever nomenclature, lady. I want to see your cans. Hey, I want to see, see your, your cans. I want to see your cans. <laughs> I just. This, this really I want to see song. your cans. Mm-hmm. Show yeah. me both of your melons, baby. See those budding rams. What? Uh, you know how you know how boobs are always fighting each other. Show me like one boob is song, us, baby. I want to see your cans. Okay. I want to ogle your orbs now, baby. You the secret plans what? that you have hidden in your boobs. <laughs> yes, I want to check the chi-chi's lady. I want to see your cans. I want to see your can. It goes on. I want to see <laughs> your juggies, baby. I want to spy your mams. I want to peep your hooters, mama. Ugh. <laughs> I'm raising money for breast cancer research. (laughs) I want to see your cans. Hey, where's everybody going? I want to peek at the puppies, baby. Don't sing along. You don't know the words. (laughs) Don't worry about it. You're fine. Uh, It goes on. Yeah, You know, I I like it. I like it. Uh, It's a little on the nose. (laughs) <laughs> no, no, the nose is about a foot and a half away. Actually, I'm, I'm really about, sad that they didn't now? use the word hoons. I was like, um, hoons. That's a that's new to me. Hoons. <laughs> the uh, we're gonna we're gonna go from a pair to kind of an original comedy work here. Um, can we just can we just take a brief break to uh, oh, sure, sure. Uh, just stare at Portex's drawing of a tuba with tits? She's so coy. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Is uh, okay. Uh, Ironicus. Yay! I know that you've been uh, you've been a lurker on the uh, the fump for a long time now. Oh, um, I'm a I'm a hardcore thumper. So you're probably familiar with uh, uh, the great Luke Ski, uh, who's uh, who, who wrote a song uh, called uh, the T Rex song. Parentheses director's cut. Mm-hmm. Well, <laughs> it, it follows the original creative intent. You see, <laughs> um, and I just want to. It looks like I just want. I'm, I'm going to try to summarize the eight pages uh, of explanation because mm-hmm, mm-hmm. that's really what. You know, good comedy is is eight eight minutes of explain, explaining so, the joke before. So, you know, like the it. director's cut of Dune, will this song also be four hours long? <laughs> uh, mercifully, well, looks like it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, actually. Yep, yep. So I'll give you some I'll give you some freedom to edit uh, as well. But basically, this dude uh, wrote uh, something for the nostalgia critic. 
um, oh. who I understand is is a not cool dude on the internet. <laughs> what? <laughs> Are there what? Any that guy um, defines cool and also <laughs> loves to credit and pay his collaborators. He can't get enough of it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so, but this was from uh, 2014. So this is before all of that. So, you know, uh, it was a different time. It was a different time. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, let's hear, uh, let's hear about the uh, T-Rex song, which uh, was inspired by the Jurassic Park a blockbuster uh, from 1993. I'm sorry. Uh, this was inspired by Jurassic World, which just hit movie theaters this week. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, you're right. <laughs> you're the right, awesomest yes. Chris Pratt movie to come out since the last two awesome Chris Pratt movies. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're absolutely right. I apologize. Uh, yeah. And if you want to pimp your album uh, from 2014, Fourth Grade Talent Show, I think mm -hmm, it's available mm -hmm. on your Bandcamp page. So, All right, so I'm walking down the street, you know, whatever, just minding my own business. Yeah, I know. I take a look and I see an ice cream truck, and I'm like, oh, shit, man, you know I want some ice cream. Give it to me, baby. Ah, 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 ah. I want some goddamn <laughs> ice cream. See, you know, what? I <laughs> Oh, this this is the nostalgia critics part. So I should do a, a, a Doug Walker voice. Oh no! So all the kids are running away because they're like, "Oh my god, a dinosaur!" You know all that fun. I go up there and say, "Hey, I want some mint chocolate chip ice cream." Ice cream man looks at me and says, "We all have any mint chocolate chip ice cream." And I told him, I said, "Dude, I really want some mint chocolate chip ice cream." He says, "I'm sorry, we don't have any mint chocolate chip ice cream." So I ate that bitch. Oh. I'm a motherfucking T-Rex, the most vicious beast to ever walked the planet. I'm a motherfucking T-Rex, oh. a tyrannosaur is not some newt in a zoo. I'm a motherfucking T-Rex. Now give me some mint chocolate ice cream, damn it! I'm a motherfucking T-Rex. And while I'm at it, I'll have a rocket pop, too. <laughs> I ain't made a latex or extinct like Aztecs when they made us all female. I changed my sex, gobbling up rednecks like they were Tex-Mex. Time for your butt to start cashing those chicks. I'm a motherfucking T-Rex. So I'm waiting in line at the DMV, you know, because I moved recently, and yeah, I know the address on my insurance doesn't match the address on my license, so I gotta go and get that changed. They gotta match and shit. So I go up to the lady. Uh -huh. She's there. Uh -huh. I show her my license, and I say I need this address changed. She says you need two articles of mail. So I show her this card that you know my mother wrote me, because you know it's like, hey, you know my mother. She writes me cards. Yeah. She's fucking mm -hmm. cool, you know. She's my mm -hmm. goddamn mom, you know. So mm -hmm. I show it to the lady, and. She's like, oh, no, no, sorry. No. This doesn't no. count. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Oh, shit. oh, oh shit. writing Rackets. satire. So I ate that bitch. I'm a motherfucking T-Rex. <laughs> T-Rex. <laughs> King of the Thunder Lizards. You know what I'm saying? I'm a motherfucking T-Rex. T-Rex. I don't need your eye shot. If you move, I'll see you. I'm a motherfucking T-Rex. 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 Also, I think you think that dinosaurs are predators, but that's fine. I'll chop your fat ass in one gulp without thinking. I'm a motherfucking T-Rex. T-Rex! Now just give me my license. I got errands to do. Okay, okay, cool. I'm going to cut you off there. I'm going to cut you off there because... Hey! Because um, <laughs> we, only, we only have about a, a half hour left. So uh, we want to <laughs> do at least one more song. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, so uh, good stuff. Good stuff. Um... We'll and, never uh, you get know, to the hear great... the rhyme Jonah Rex and, and Professor Jonah Hex and Professor X. Uh, yeah, well, you know, if if you want to, you can you can uh, check out the doc uh, at your at your leisure. You know, this song is accurate because it doesn't rhyme with sex. Uh... <laughs> but I feel like you know, uh, uh, Luke Ski is a prolific uh, writer and has a has a deep catalog of songs. In fact, um, yeah. uh, he just released today at LukeSki.com back in two thousand. <laughs> <laughs> three uh, uh greatest hits volume one 1996 to 2003 so apparently there's a two cd set uh you find that at your local pawn shop a lot of stuff in there but uh, jack chick you've got what are some what are, the, what are some of the hot jams off of that jimmy Frank? Well, why don't you tell us some of the hot jams on the greatest hits volume one 96 well, to 03 so, yeah no so it has 40 tracks it includes uh such such hits as stealing like a hobbit peter mm -hmm. Parker, insane yep. And the brain. Mm -hmm. Oh boy! 
Yep. Oh boy. Yeah. <laughs> Is that no, featuring Maurice LaMarche or something? Or... <laughs> I went um, insane Kenny... and I have a brain. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Kenny was a kid from South Park. He was looking for a soul to steal. House Party at Arkham Asylum. And of course, everybody's favorite classic, It's a Fanboy Christmas. Of course, of course. Oh, so this guy's actually been on Dr. Demento. <laughs> that that <sighs> wouldn't surprise me. All right. So this is the rest. I, we, we, yeah. <laughs> the, the great Luke Ski never had an idea he didn't make into a song. That's true. Uh, but what are you going to do for us today? Well, so I'm going to do the song Fanboy, uh, which is a parody of the song a Cowboy by Kid Rock. Yay! Uh, anyway. <laughs> hey! Yeah. Uh, so... <laughs> Uh, okay. Yeah, but it's about fandom because you know that needed more. Mm -hmm. okay. So yeah, that needs updated for 2010. <laughs> yo, yo, yo! Yeah, it's so... 2010. Yeah, Kid Rock's Cowboy still relevant. Um, all right, I'm a fan of new stuff now. Yeah. Well, I'm a packing up my swag and I'm a head outside <laughs> where real women call me dork and gag and go hide. Take a ride to Toys R Us, bust on in, buy a mace wind, doing a quad gun jig. Oh. And I'm a kid at heart, just like yes. Anakin. A loony bin, I'm in with Ken Harley Quinn. Got a pin with a motto, <laughs> reading Xena for press. And I spend my day on pens, dispensers of pens. Go out on the cons and Renaissance Fest, watching anime chicks with inflatable breasts. You might be a Trekkie, hey, sit back and watch as the Uber geek goes, kicks it up a notch. Tune to the letter F in your dictionary and add the word to your vocabulary. Yep. Take Tune in. Guns, I'm the real McCoy. Damn it, Kim. I'm not a doctor. I'm just a definition of a fan. Fan boy, baby. I'm a nerd. I'm a nerd I always survive. I will always survive. I'm a fan boy, baby. Feel so alive watching Babylon 5. I'm going to be a fan boy, baby. Making best friends with a robot bender. I'm a fan. Fanboy, baby. I will give up and I will never surrender. Got this funny little gadget when I open my fridge. It goes Star Trek whistle like Kirk's on the. <laughs> <laughs> I don't hate that couple. No, it was great. <laughs> that is literally the worst fucking thing. <laughs> Alright, I got this, I got this. Oh god, no I don't, because it's Klingon net. Yep. Ah. <laughs> it's Klingon. Kapla Pung Cha Cha God Pax! Bill Gates was cool, but now he just sucks. I play Doom and Quake on Microsoft. Get a map to the tomb, find Lara Croft. And if the pixel's right, then I'm a raider, mm, boy. Oh. And let Sony play 2K. That's why they call me a fanboy, baby. <laughs> Spend my time wanting seven of nine. I'm a fanboy, baby. <laughs> oh, won't stop till the Pokemon of mine. I'm be a fanboy, baby. Oh, so what do you think? Will you enforce a little bit better than I do? I'm a Star Wars freak. Yeah, you won't find an odd... What the... <laughs> out of one, I'm a Jedi Master. You are merely just a pat it one. You're dumb, just like Jabba Binks. A Jabba said, "He needs to go suck a Wookie." Pat it to one. I don't know. Oh, yeah, now it's the Pat it to Wada yeah. song. Oh, yeah, okay. it's a mashup. Oh. oh God, is it? Yeah. Uh, we call this oh, innovation. Boy. Yeah. Uh, all right. Yeah. 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 There is a. Spot. There is a. There is. <laughs> All of the songs here uh, appear to each be about two days long. <laughs> <laughs> no, come on. There's there's one more verse and chorus left. We can get through. Okay, this. yeah, do it. Do it, man. <laughs> yeah, kids, yeah. Stop quoting all the tracks. Got a mind more powerful than Professor X. Drink a case of Joe Cola down like Mother Smith and sing a song that makes me say, what in the filth? Patrol and snake vampires just like Buffy. Roll the dice, win the fights with the knights who say me. MSD 2000 until midnight. Then I paint my lip red, the sweet transvestite. Like, oh, King Doofus, Faz, Black Jerry Lewis. My comic book collection's wider than the Suez. Fun like Sailor Moon is suave. Who Doctor Who is? I'm like the Nappy Giants and Moxie Fruvus. RPG and D and D. Kevin Smith's making a film about me. I ain't no jock. I'm just a regular jerk. All American Zero, the ultimate Urkel. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Give me the credit. But now I tell him all to suck my radio edit. And when I die at the hour 11, I'll shout to my father in heaven 27. Fanboy. I'm a nerd over drive. I will always survive. Fanboy. Feel so alive watching Babylon 5. Fanboy. Spend my time wanting <laughs> seven of nine. Fanboy. Won't stop till all the Pokemon are mine. Fanboy. <laughs> Making best friends with a robot panda. Fanboy. Fan <laughs> never give up. Never surrender. Fanboy. Fan boy. <laughs> Watching Deep Space Nine and <laughs> he has such varied oh. interests. Yeah. yeah. You know, and I'm sad that we don't have time to move on to uh, the great Luke Ski's Anna got a Davida uh, called Orco Slimer Wicked and Snarf, which this is, is... My, this is my this is our three right now, and I'm already having Moonstone syndrome because like there was a point in that song where I kind of liked it. <laughs> he has a well, it does felt bars, it written. And then, yeah, and, and then, he is a Doctor Demento funny five uh, yeah, artist. Yeah. So no, he probably I know those that was actually recorded and made, you know, like a lot, unlike a lot of funny music things that we encounter on this podcast. Yeah, it was yeah, yeah. He, he went through. all the way. He, he lived the dream. Exactly. <laughs> Whatever that dream might be. <laughs> so and so nutshell, you found something that uh, looks like it's kind of a good intersection for yeah. FS listeners. This this one really spoke to me. When Tell I, us about when the, I was... this Venn diagram that you found of funny um, music and something else. This is this is a song called Two Trucks by Lemon Demon. Oh, I love uh, trucks. Yeah. So, okay. <laughs> two trucks having sex. Two trucks having sex. My muscles, my muscles involuntarily flex. Two trucks <laughs> having sex. Two trucks <laughs> having sex. My muscles, my muscles involuntarily flex. Two pick up trucks making love. American made, built for tough. Two beautiful murder machines. American angels in the sky. Grown men cry. <laughs> two trucks having sex. Oh, yes. Two trucks having sex. Oh, yes. My muscles. Uh, uh. My muscles. Uh. Involuntarily flex. Two trucks having sex. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Two trucks having sex. Oh, yes. Yes. My muscles. Uh. Uh. My muscles. Uh. Oh. Involuntarily flex. Right by my side, there's ZZ Top and Robert the Door from Maniac. Maniac Cop 1, 2, and 3. This barbecue could bring you to your knees. And so could these two trucks. <laughs> two trucks holding hands. Two trucks holding hands. The passion, the passion is more than I can withstand. Two trucks holding hands. Two trucks holding hands. The passion, the passion, my big fat heart expands. Two big up trucks. One cylinder block. Crush my body like a rock. So beautiful, no stars tonight, just fireworks and eagles in the sky, the founding fathers cry. Two trucks having sex. Oh, yes. Two trucks having sex. Oh, yes. My muscles. <laughs> My muscles. <laughs> Involuntarily flex. Two trucks having sex. Oh, yes. Two trucks having sex. Oh, yes. My muscles. Oh. The muscles. Uh. Involuntarily flex. Two trucks having sex. Two trucks having sex. My muscles. My muscles involuntarily flex. Two trucks having sex. Two trucks having sex. Two trucks having sex. My muscles. My muscles involuntarily flex. And then it just says two trucks having sex a lot more times. Uh. <laughs> having sex. I'm in yep. Demon is, of course, the uh, great Neil Sergera. <laughs> So, sex yeah. trucks! Definitely one of his songs. <laughs> <laughs> one of, yeah, a, br a brilliantly crafted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this song was not recorded. <laughs> it might uh, be. It is now. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry about that. Yeah. Definitive recording, baby. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, hey guys, uh, this is Bone Cage. Bone Cage. Yeah. Oh, and uh, wanna got a new I got a new composition I want to share with you. It's called uh, Anthem for Xbox Live. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's the crux of modern gaming. I'm 32 and enjoy games, but most of the other people are 12. As much as I support their right to play games online, I hate them all and want them dead. <laughs> so I wrote this. I don't respect anything. <laughs> Every time I go online to play my favorite games. 
I find Xbox Live is driving me insane. It's overrun with children of fourth grade dick. Kills me 30 times and calls me gay. I'm sick. This little shit keeps blowing me away and ruining my game. And though I can compete with his manual dexterity, there's a couple things that help me stay better man. At least I have pubes. At least yeah. I'm not adopted. At least my dick is bigger than an acorn. And I know you're wow. just a child, but wow. I really hope you die. Wow. You little kid on Xbox Live. This is a 32-year-old man who feels emasculated by a fucking child. Yeah, Xbox Live, dude. <laughs> that's that's the environment. Wow! Freaking nice Titanfall was just released today, and I've waited half a year to play this game. <laughs> Kill with John Robox first time on. Kid named Farts McGee is on the microphone. <laughs> Shouting out obscenities and eventual, offensive racial slurs. I yeah. ask him very nicely if he'll be a bit more sensitive. <laughs> sure. Everyone's got feelings. Sometimes harsh words can hurt. Uh-huh. Uh, excuse and... me, uh, Farts McGee, could you please watch your tone? Let's uh, keep it respectful, guys, while we're marking noobs. <laughs> and he calls me a f- <laughs> Fuck you. At yeah, least I have pubes. <laughs> At least I pissed a girl. At least my mom's not a stupid whore like yours. <laughs> She's a smart whore. <laughs> <laughs> and I know you're just a child, but I really hope you die. You and all the kids on Xbox Live. <laughs> And then it just, it's, and it just is a coda of that over. He just fucking hates kids on I love Xbox. How, yeah, I love how they put the styling stuff at the end of all these. It's always just like Xbox Live, the kids on Xbox Live. Yeah, we get it. Just <laughs> you don't need to put this in here. I bet Farts and McGee write the better uh, music too. I, I feel I feel like I didn't connect with the audience at House of Blues. Like I really worked on the song, and I just got dead stares. I don't understand. <laughs> All right, you, can, you, can, uh, you know, if you want to see any more of my shows, I'll be at the open mic. Um, down <laughs> until they kick me off. Until they and... kick him off stage. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. So. Uh, uh, um, tell us about uh, nuclear bubble wrap song. Banjo's gonna f you up. Uh, who is that? That is, I'm sorry, uh, uh, the the nuclear bubble song, bubble rap song, Banjo is going to F you up. we got a couple of songs from nuclear Who bubble rap. Who are you talking rap. to? Who are you talking to? I'm talking to Remember, Lemon. guys, never pick on a guy named Banjo. Uh, <laughs> He'll fuck you up. <laughs> a couple of these uh, from uh, from nuclear bubble rap. Oh, you know, I think that I will uh, 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 definitely uh, relent to uh, Mr. Adam Bozar. If they, if they talented. <laughs> oh, really? For banjo, gonna fuck you up. <laughs> you can get the nuclear bubble rap. Banjo's gonna fuck you up if you wouldn't mind. Uh, okay. So for our psycho delicacy Kickstarter, we intru- we were instructed by Mike. Buchler, a backer of three hundred dollars, to do a song about quote banjos and murder for his That's Kickstarter one, reward. <laughs> one thing I noticed in this doc is a number of these songs are commissions. <laughs> People paid money for this shit. <laughs> All right, now our donation total better go up. What the hell? <laughs> yeah, so you better pay me three hundred dollars. <laughs> Sing this damn song about banjos and make it not sound exactly like the thing <laughs> Jimmy French was saying. Because, because I know, I know, we, there's a couple of things that I do want to get to. So, how about this? Uh, and we have two songs here from Nuclear Bubble Rap. So, oh. I will give you the option of "Banjos Gonna Fuck You Up," yeah, or Disney song, both written by Nuclear Bubble Rap. It's Disney song, I... like ah. <laughs> <laughs> no. I come from the land of the mouse and snow. <laughs> uh, I'll take Banjo's gonna fuck you up. All right, solid. Yeah, somebody else can take Disney song. Uh, 
It makes me feel pr so pristine to use my axe and screams of these <laughs> kills sound like music to relax. And I got a banjo that fuck up your shit. And if you do it well, then without a fret, it murders you real quick. I got a banjo that will fuck up your shit. And it don't matter who you are because it don't take a pick. You might say the genre of my music's regress. While your song's just never ending whole rest, I, I got a banjo that will fuck up your shit. And if you do it, then it without a fret, it murders you real quick. I got a banjo that will fuck up your shit. And it don't matter who you are because it don't take pick. Boink. Is is red grass an epithet of like fake bluegrass? Is that I a thing? It's like murder. I think it's murdery bluegrass. So it's stained with blood. Oh, oh I thought it was Neil in the chat room was asking if it's blue bluegrass. So, uh, <laughs> bluegrass would be great. Adam, you made the right choice. You made the right choice because that song was very short. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> however, I do feel that we would be remiss in not visiting a Nuclear Bubble Raps hit Disney song, uh, which is at the very end of the dock. And Jack Chick, uh, would you yeah. mind uh, jumping in and... Uh, uh, tell us the story. Uh, tell us a little bit. What's what's the uh, first off? What was the the genesis? What's the the seed by which Disney song flowered and became a musical uh, uh, hit? Yeah, Mickey Mouse caught Minnie Mouse cheating on him. Now he's pissed. Uh, oh, classic, classic mm -hmm. theme. Classic mm -hmm. theme. Classic. Yep. <laughs> uh, cool. Let's hear about it. Mickey Mouse came home after a work day all alone, oh yeah. He walked into his house and hoped to kiss his mini mouse, oh yeah. But then he saw his wife and scream, Are you fucking crazy, Minnie? Why do this to me? And she corrected, Fucking Goofy, can't you see? That was the day that Mickey Mouse snapped. Putting everyone he knew into a Mickey Mouse trap. <laughs> no more Mr. Nice Mouse. Now he's in to see some tears. With the steam from his steamboat shooting out of his ears. Chugging down some whiskey that he got at the pub. Now come into his clubhouse and prepare to be clubbed. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Even okay. his mousetrap is branded this fucking company. <laughs> <laughs> I remember liking the Spark song a lot better. <laughs> <laughs> Mickey drank some wine and traveled to a distant mine, oh yeah. <laughs> Jesus! Was working with their love and care, oh yeah. Happiness <laughs> had him left him hurt. He took grenades out of his vest and then he threw them with a smirk. <laughs> and yes, he even whistled while he worked. Oh, oh yeah, I guess. It was yeah, a day yeah, of Mickey's a Mickey line, but that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Really? Now you're going to pick? <laughs> <laughs> Something to distract me. <laughs> it was the day of Mickey's assault. Now they're just a memory locked inside of Walt Disney's vault. Spilling oil in the ocean so the little mermaid died. And then he went and killed Aladdin on a smothered carpet ride. Just like his victims, Mickey's heart was torn apart. Now he'll uh. come into your kingdom and he'll tear out your heart. Kingdom these, Hearts 4. Yeah, I know. These kingdom hearts just keep on getting weirder. <laughs> A calm, peaceful night, Cinderella's at the bar. Happily dancing with Prince Charming, fine and tall. And Mickey thought for a moment as he witnessed this true love. Then he recalled his wife's goof and looked down at his bloody glass. Tore off her glass slippers, held the shards inside his fists. As he laughed, he jammed them right into her neck and through her wrists. Then he ripped the wings off Tinker. Of Bell to keep a souvenir, and he then he built a cross <laughs> so and going by Dumbo by his ears. Oh, oh. <laughs> what else? What other music <laughs> things are there? What else? What else? What else? What else? <laughs> 
Sleeping Beauty Lady. I don't think this is beer more we're chugging. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, it, it continues and people are, you know. <laughs> I just uh, I just wanted to say briefly that uh, I went to the um, uh, Gathering of the Juggalos site to find out uh, what what our nuclear bubble wrap is playing. This year. <laughs> uh, and were there was thinking, one. Are you thinking this was the wicked shit? Uh, yeah, that's like <laughs> wicked shit to me. Uh, but yeah, so I went to a Gathering of the Juggalos dot com, which has like a cloud sort of like a security check thing happening. <laughs> And if you go to Gathering Juggalos, it says, security check, I'm human. Which, if I was, <laughs> why would I be on this on site? Yeah, that's true. That's true. Uh, whoop, whoop. Uh, I think we've heard enough of that, and I know we, we need to move along. Um, yeah. Let's let's uh, jump to uh, a song by uh, Worm Quartet uh, featuring Insane Ian. Oh, man, and a uh, song, uh, Lemon, I think you're going to tell us a little bit about this. Yeah, so this is, like you said, Math is Bullshit, which is the Worm Quartet featuring Insane Ian. Uh, I got my uh, studio musicians here uh, backing me up, uh, Nashel Gulag and Ironicus. But uh, it's just, just another boring July 15th. Certainly nothing new going on in the world of comedy music. What a great time for Worm Quartet to return to the thump with a new song to have to worry about overshadowing everything overshadowing its glory. This is a song about the concept that science jerks made up called math <laughs> it's got these things called numbers and these other things called operands and science jerks use them to do calculations what they think makes them superior than everyone else trust me i've spent four years in an engineering curriculum learning this stuff it's all total garbage i can't believe we're teaching our kids this crap i mean if irving has nine apples and johnny takes three irving should tackle johnny and kick him in the throat instead of just sitting there enumerating his remaining produce while johnny scampers back into the ghetto and traces his ill-gotten fruit for crack but I digress. <laughs> and it's now taking you longer to read this than we'll take a listen to the song, which features insane yeah. Ian and a bunch of profanity and synth noises, because that's what Worm Quartet is. Great. Can we skip it then? Also, racist <laughs> dog whistles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, crazy Ian on the dog whistle. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, great. So, uh, so, uh, uh, uh Ironicus, you're going to be Ian and that show is shoebox. Oh boy. Okay. Yeah. So get ready and let's drop a beat. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> or don't anytime. That's you nutshell. Oh, shoebox. Shit. Math is <laughs> bullshit. It's all just made up. Science just invented numbers and said they do stuff. They made it all complex and made it hard to do so they could say, yeah, yeah, we're smarter than you. But math is natural. It's found everywhere. <laughs> oh, yeah? Then what's the fucking square root of a bear? Ooh. It's not how it works. You just don't see. That sounds more bullshit excuses to me. But a bear isn't a number. You see, that's why. Ah, so won't your made-up construct apply? Numbers are made up? Dude, your brain's not good. Well, look, well, when's the last time you saw a quilt shit in the woods? Zah? Math is <laughs> bullshit! There's just no such thing! It's not like fucking fractions bloom in the spring! Science jerks made it up to pretend they got smarts? Well, the rest of us should sit around and laugh at our farts! Breaking news! Breaking news! Our our donation total is is $1,696.69! Nice. 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 nice! 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 <laughs> <laughs> Mass a uh, universal language that we all understand. Oh yeah, then why are equations read in poetry jams? But you can use it to predict how the natural world works. Then what's the average of a sunshine sunset in a pile of dirt? What? J me? See, your lives will fall apart under close scrutiny. Ooh. She rhymes scrutiny with glee. <laughs> but I need a drink. See what happened there, bitch? I just thought you'd think. Math is bullshit, you see what I mean? <laughs> Calculators are just automated lying machines. Give it up, science jerks. Now you've had your fun, but now you're finally exposed. Your deception is done. Clearly, I've wasted my entire life. Yeah, boy. Copyright 2014, Timothy F. Christ. <laughs> oh, Chris. <laughs> 
All right. Wow. Uh, we're about to, at the end here, and I know we've only got a couple minutes, but I do want to get this one kind of uh, out of the way. Uh, we have uh, – I was, I was going through the doc. I was like, okay, this one – you don't start a show with a showstopper. This has to be our last song. So closing it out, oh, yeah. uh, we are going to do the classic uh, parody composition from Dino Mike featuring Bone Cage. Uh, the parody collaboration you've all been asking for, well, maybe not out loud, but we heard you clear as a bell regardless. It's a song about America's favorite reference site, a parody to We Didn't Start the Fire by Billy Joel. Fuck. Uh, this <laughs> yeah, this yeah, is yeah. a song. Yeah. I'm excited for this one. I genuinely am. <laughs> Urban Dictionary. Uh, Adam, you're voice, uh, your voice one. Jack, your voice two. Ironicus, you're number three. And then uh, Lemon and Nutshell, if you guys can take the chorus. Yeah. All right. Take it away. Blumpkin, starfish, donkey punch, felching, snoodle, and hot punch, sausage fest, moose knuckle, YOLO, pocket tank, chili dogging, tummy slicks, motorboating, tummy tricks, <laughs> Dutch rudder, duck, butter, gay, dark, twerk, spank, bank, beef, thicket, time of loafing, dingleberries, purple dolphin, hot curl, banana polish, rusty trombone, dank, rubbed, uncle, kippy, dunger, dragon, sippy, sippy, hot pocket, pocket, rocket, baby, goggles, dome, it's the urban, urban dictionary. dictionary, it's, it's the, the ABC of slang, slang vulgarity, urban dictionary, it's the lexicon for youth, youth Americans. Americans. <laughs> Fluffer, cyber, honky kong, milkshake, foobar, basic schlong, ignoramus, muffin top, driving finger, moobs, pearl necklace, bumba clot, poopo loopo, crotch rot, rainbow party, red wicks, farty, farty, farty? We need to define farty? Rib job poning, noobs. Better go look it up on Urban Dictionary. Uh, uh, no, you got more. Yeah. Gonna, yeah, you got more. Gonna, yeah. Foe, Gina, hacker, jacking, kinky, twinkie, nickel, backing, fat, farmer, dude, bro, because you know I'm Big Mackin. You know I'm Big Mackin. Mm. Tony, dancing, grounded, pound, dancing with the Irish clown, fish, bowling, Twitter, famous, hate us, because they ain't us. Urban, Urban Dictionary. dictionary. It's, it's the, the A to Z of Slango Verity. Urban Dictionary. It's a it's lexicon for you Americans. <laughs> Gate, rape, lipstick, fupa, dime, bass, jimmy stick, snuggle, struggle, glover, bugger, purple headed, custard chucker, beer, cheers, acrabella, furl, dime, Nutella bella, lumpy, barney, grumpy, gus, riding on the struggle bus. <laughs> 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 Smegma oh, uh, Gooch, Tootsie Roll, Sand Tormund, Camel Toe, Butterface Tea, Bagging Fappa Bull Ho, Bukaki <laughs> Naked, Hashtag Bukaki Naked, Hashtag Happy Trail, Douchebag, Cleveland Steamer, Hand Cleaner, San Francisco Bird Feeder. Urban Dictionary. It's the A to Z. Urban Dictionary. It's a lexicon for you to hear it. There we go. There we go. That's much better than you. I'll say that. I'll say that. Chat was just rapidly hitting E, trying to make it. E. Get this cutscene. What do we learn, everybody? E. Uh, you know, I don't. Uh, I haven't. I haven't physically seen Cheapskate in some time. I like Cheapskate. He's a good guy, uh, and uh, I'm excited to hang out with him. Uh, but I will. I will make him suffer for this. And <laughs> Cheapskate. Well, the next time we take a drink, and I order a drink for you, and you ask me what it is, and I don't answer, and I just pass the drink to you, you're gonna fucking drink it. Yeah. I've learned that love is incredibly vindictive. I thought it, I thought it was a solid doc. I just think the songs could be a little longer. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, in, in this age of tools that let you make your own songs, like the the SoundCloud era, these are the people who are left behind. <laughs> <laughs> the thing that I think is interesting is when you look up a lot of the people who made these, they have been featured on the Doctor Demento show. So like. Sure. The real, th my real takeaway here is that apparently the Doctor Demento show somehow got fucking worse in doing <laughs> it. I, 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 learned I, that, yeah. I learned that the F Plus needs a SoundCloud. <laughs> yeah, so, just so that we can say check out my SoundCloud all the time. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> uh, so we should probably wrap it up, but uh, thanks to everybody, and we're gonna take a break. Up next is Smart Moans. Uh, 
mm-hmm. from Amit as the the document submitter on that one. And uh, let's we'll see who's our cast for next. So we've hour. got uh, your host uh, Boots coming back. He's finally uh, forgiving me for uh, the intro song. So Boots will be fun. <laughs> Uh, as your host in hour four, uh, uh, accompanied by Adam Bozarth, Jack Chick, Nutshell, Ironicus, and uh, Amy himself to describe exactly what this nonsense is. I, Yay! And, uh, and this stream, oh my god, the art stream, the art stream has been fantastic. Uh, this is way <laughs> better art than this music deserves. So. The, the art stream Yay! is really the, the shining star of the F Plus Live uh, garbage day. So you got another, another hour of Portax up ahead. See you soon.